camera enthusiasts are eagerly anticipating the Sony A1 Mark II, with rumors suggesting it could feature a groundbreaking global shutter sensor capable of capturing ultra-high resolution images at blazing fast burst speeds. While such advancements sound exciting, they may come at a significant cost to image quality and overall performance. The fundamental difference between global and rolling shutter sensors lies in how they capture light. Global shutters expose all pixels simultaneously, enabling unprecedented readout speeds that are ideal for freezing fast motion and action shots. This capability perfectly caters to the needs of sports, wildlife, and photojournalist professionals who need to capture split-second moments. However, this parallel exposure process is inherently less efficient at gathering light, potentially compromising dynamic range, color accuracy, and low-light performance areas where Sony's current alpha cameras have been industry-leading and shining beacons that professionals rely upon. Cramming a massively high 50MP resolution along with 120fps plus burst speeds into a global shutter format seems to stretch the boundaries of what's physically achievable without serious image quality degradation. Some imaging experts argue that while global shutter technology has advanced significantly in recent years, it still can't match the overall technical image quality delivered by the latest top-tier rolling shutters found in Sony's current Alpha 1 flagship camera. Unless Sony pulls off an engineering miracle, any A1 Mark II incorporating global shutter tech may represent a decisive step backward in sensor performance from its pioneering predecessor despite the speed gains. Another salient concern is whether such ultra-fast burst capabilities genuinely align with the diverse needs of Sony's professional alpha user base. The recently launched A93 is a hyper-focused camera solely optimized for speed above all else with its 24MP global shutter sensor. But the Alpha 1 series has traditionally embodied a more versatile, balanced approach as an uncompromising all-rounder that can handle any demanding photo-video application with aplomb. Many working professionals prize this flexible utilitarian design philosophy, relying on the Alpha 1 to be a dependable imaging solution no matter the scenario. While impressive on paper, game-changing speed may not be the top priority especially if it comes at the cost of reduced overall image quality, dynamic range, color rendition, or ISO performance compared to the original Alpha 1. A few experts argue Sony would be better served by an evolutionary update refining and improving upon that well-rounded flagship experience rather than completely re-architecting the system solely to chase a single headline performance metric like burst speed. Meaningful enhancements to areas like autofocus tracking, build quality, video capabilities and user experience could provide more universal benefits to a broader range of professionals across different imaging disciplines. That said, the march of technological progress remains unstoppable. Perhaps Sony does have a revolutionary sensor breakthrough brewing that can somehow defy current limitations to deliver both supreme speed and supreme image quality in one package. Or the A1 Mark II could potentially incorporate a hybrid sensor system capable of switching between ultra-fast global shutters optimized for speed, or prioritizing rolling shutter output when maximum resolution and utmost image fidelity take precedence depending on the shooting scenario. However, the realities of sensor design impose hard physics-based constraints, exponentially increasing resolution and readout speeds while simultaneously maintaining the highest possible image quality is an incredibly difficult balancing act. It may simply be impractical to distill every single advanced enhancement into one flagship product without making critical compromises in other areas. A more plausible scenario could see Sony continuing to diversify their product lines, with ultra-specialized tools like global shutter speed demons complementing their top all-around models optimized for versatile overall performance. Prudent expectations may be merited, prioritizing meaningful all-around improvements over breakthroughs elevating any single metric to an extreme.